Hi kiddos, welcome to ELA. I hope you enjoyed our little story. Now we get to create our own leaf people. So this little handy dandy thing was in your packet. So you have a couple different options, kiddos. We can use real leaves. Um, the only thing about real leaves is that you need to leave time for them to dry because it's kind of wet outside. So Miss Jones did this overnight. I just did it last night and then I went to sleep and they woke up dry. You could also use a blow dryer maybe with parent permission. Um, you just have to be careful because your leaves might blow all over the place. So you might have to be a little careful. Um, but I grabbed a bunch of different leaves because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Some of your leaves are going to curl. That's okay. We can make something with our curled leaves as well. So you have two options. You can do real leaves or you can do these leaves that were in our packet and you can color them. So if you have colored pencils or um, crayons, you can go through and color these. Miss Jones is trying to stay in the line even though it technically doesn't matter because we're gonna cut them out. So we could cut out this leaf if we wanted it. We can color our other ones. I think I'm gonna use real leaves. So I'm gonna put this to the side. I might use them later. And then we have this piece of paper here that we can make our leaf people on. So we can put our leaf people on here. You can turn it sideways and make a leaf family if you wanna make multiple. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but some tools that I have are my leaves, my paper leaves, I have some glue, some scissors, I have my colored pencils, um, I have a glue stick, I don't know if it's going to work with a glue stick or real glue, and then I have a fancy marker because I might title my um, picture, I'm going to sign it because we always sign our artwork, and then I might want to draw a face on my leaves. I also have some googly eyes in case I want to put googly eyes on my leaf person or people. So a couple little things. Your materials might look a little different. So I kind of like this curled leaf guy so I think I'm going to maybe use this one. And I might do a family. I don't know. Maybe two people. And what you can do, kiddos, is you can build them up. So maybe this little leaf person needs some arms. Like this. Maybe a hat. Or hair. And then I could put my eyeballs just for see where I'm going with this. might be helpful if I have some eyeballs on it. Cute little eyeballs. And then maybe I'm going to give this leaf person a mouth like that. Uh-oh, we lost an eyeball. These leaves smell good. They smell kind of like pine which is weird because they're not really pine. Maybe they were next to a pine tree. Okay. It looks a little scared, but I kind of like it. I could also use this maybe as a smile. Maybe this will be better. He looks a little grumpy now. There, it's kind of like a smile. I might add like more of a body on this one if I wanted to or maybe they have a little hat something like that that's kind of hard to see you could also use this big one if I wanted to and put our curled one on top it seems a little big 
So maybe I'm just gonna go with my little guy right here. Let's see. That's the cool thing about art is you can change your mind. You can do whatever you want. Kind of like this hair up here. It's like kind of crazy. Kind of wanted to give him legs, but I don't know. Always cut your leaves too, kiddos, if you want. This one's pretty. Maybe I will do some leaf, a leaf family. Okay, kiddos, once you've decided what you're going to do, then you're going to glue down your leaves. So I'm going to glue down this little leaf. won't need that much glue since the leaves are pretty thin. So I'm just gonna dabble a little bit there. Stick that bad boy on. And I like that it's coming up a little bit. You don't have to glue the whole thing. If you want to, you totally can too. I'm gonna glue this little curly Q guy. And go right up the vein of his stem there. Oh, he might need some extra glue. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's good. And now this guy is gonna be tricky. I think I'm gonna do his eyeballs first. Because his eyeballs are going all over the place. There we go. And we can give him eyelashes. We can give them eyebrows, a nose, whatever you want. I might give him some eyebrows, some more personality. There we go. Kind of a silly looking little dude. And then I'm going to add this little smile thing, his mouth. Hopefully it looks a little bit like a smile. I think it kind of does. So we'll glue his smile on. Beautiful. There we go. And then I'm going to glue these pieces behind him. So I kind of think it looks like hair or a hat. him down first before I glue his arms down. So he might be a little hard to glue since he kind of caves up a little. But we'll try. Tape would also work, kiddos. Okay, he's not staying. Glue in a different place. And what's hard about this art project is we have to be so careful because leaves are so fragile. So we have to make sure that we're really careful with our pieces. Okay, that's a little bit better. I might have to hold him there a little bit later. And then we're going to add in his arms, his little leaf arms. Hold him here a little bit to glue to dry. Okay, and then his last arm here. I might just hold this for a little bit. Even. Oopsies. There we 
go. It's sticking a little bit more now. Uh oh. And you know what we can do, kiddos? We can just put our glue on there, maybe. And that will keep him down a little bit. And then I think I might add some eyeballs to these guys over here. Ooh, and we can use parts of our leaves, kiddos. So like this one has a little line right there. I'm gonna use that as his nose. I'm gonna place my eyeballs close to his nose. This one might be a little hard. Maybe I make him down here like he looks like he has short little eyes or short little face. Okay, hopefully that leaf stays there. Give some glue to these eyeballs. Oopsies. Perfect. And I'm going to give him a little smirk over here. These little short, it's gonna have a short little face. our leaf people kiddos should we name them I think I'm going to give them names that start with an L kind of like Leif so this one I'm gonna name Lila and this one I'm gonna name Leo people. And I'm going to sign my artwork. Down here I might just initial it or you can sign your whole name, whatever you guys want to do. I can't wait to see your guys' leaf people. You guys are so creative so I'm sure you're going to come up with beautiful, beautiful piece of art. All right kiddos, good luck. Have fun.